Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So many of you requested the eyeshadow look that I had worn in my brow tutorial and I just thought it was a perfect daytime look for a big event, so I thought I'd do a tutorial on it. Let's get started. The night before a big event, I always apply a night cream just to replenish my skin. This one is by Me Beauty. I know we're all guilty of this, but leaving makeup around your eyes from the night before is not cute. So make sure that you wipe off any old crusty mascara, and I'm using my LA Fresh Makeup Mover Wipes. Before I apply my makeup, I always like to put chapstick just to prep my lips so they're nice and soft, and this is the Olive Natural Beauty Lip Balm. For a daytime look, I would usually opt for a tinted moisturizer, but I wanted to show you guys this little trick that I do, which is taking a full coverage foundation and mixing it with a little bit of sunblock, and this is the Hang 10 sunblock, and this is going to protect your skin while also diluting that foundation so it's not as heavy. And uh, it's kind of like making your own tinted moisturizer, but you have a little bit more coverage for those of you who want more coverage. So I'm just buffing that into the skin, and it kind of gives you a dewy effect as well because of the sunblock. It's time to conceal the under eyes, so I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I'm just going to use my finger to apply this, because sometimes your fingers just give a little bit more of a natural look. And then I'm going to set it with a translucent powder. I'm picking up just a tiny bit of that Hello Flawless powder from Benefit, and I'm just going to apply it where I get a little bit shiny. So I'm going to contour the hollows of my face a bit, and this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. You guys always want to make sure to use a matte bronzer when contouring, because a shimmer isn't going to make the hollows of your face look natural. A shimmer bronzer is more for an all-over glow, but to contour, you always want to stay matte. I'm just going to run that up the sides of my nose just a tiny bit as well. To highlight, I'm going to use MAC Shell, and this is a cream product, so I'm just going to use my finger to apply this, and I'm going to just dab it, because if you rub this, it's going to ruin all the makeup you've placed underneath, so when you work with creams, just make sure to dab them. For this look, I want to stay in the peach or pink family for the cheeks because I kind of want that flushed look, like a very natural blush look. So this is from my Sleek palette and I'm just going to apply that to the apples of the cheeks and pull it up towards the temple. Now to soothe my skin and also set my foundation, I'm going to use my Aven spray and I'm just going to mist that all over my skin. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to apply a base all over the lid and up towards the brow bone, and this is MAC Soft Ochre. I'm going to take MAC's Blanc Type, and this is just a bone shadow, and I'm going to apply that all over the brow bone, and I'm also going to apply that to the lid. Basically, I'm just going to apply it everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to take Sienna, and this is from the Anastasia Lavish Palette, and I'm going to start mapping out the crease area. Now with this shade, you want to bring it all the way in, but you want to keep it really light. To blend that out, I'm going to use Orange Soda from the same palette, and I'm going to use that right above the eyeshadow we just placed. I usually use a fluffier brush for the transition shade, and this is a MAC 224. Now I'm going to go in with my Inglot Gel Liner and create that cat eye. A lot of you guys asked me where this brush is from, and a brand was going to come out with the brush line, but they never did, so it doesn't have a name, but I've seen a lot of people use paint brushes. It's just a, a paintbrush style eyeliner pen. Sigma makes a nice one as well. After we've created the wing, now we really want to define the outer crease. So I'm going to use MAC Cross Cultural, any matte brown shadow will do for this look. And I'm just using the Sigma Blending Brush and lightly applying this just to the outer corner of the crease. Now this is one of my tricks. What I like to do after I'm done with everything 
is grab my concealer and a concealer brush and outline the outer part of my liner and pull it up. And this is gonna make your liner look really sharp and the edges of your eyeshadow look really clean. So to tie in the pink lip, I'm gonna take this really pretty color, it's called Opal and it's by Pacifica. And I'm gonna use this as my inner corner highlight. It has really, really pretty flecks of pink in it. And to define the lower lash line, I'm just using Sienna and a little bit of that cross-cultural color that we used in the crease. It's time to apply some lashes. These are Iconic by House of Lashes, and they have been my ultimate favorite lashes lately. If you guys haven't noticed, I've worn them a million times. So the eyes are done, and now it's time to move on to the lips. I'm going to use MAC Pink Nouveau, if that's how you say it, <laughs> lipstick, and this pink lip liner. Um, it's kind of a generic brand. I don't really know where I got it from, but any pink liner will do. control the frizz and flyaways, I'm going to use this Balance Screw Oil and just apply that all over my hair down to the ends. For a finishing touch, I'm going to use my Body Balm and this is by Lulu Blossom. And I'm not really a big perfume fan and so I love this because it smells like a dreamsicle or kind of like Starburst. And it's moisturizing the skin while also making you smell nice. And I also like to kind of put this on my cuticles too if they're dry. So once you've added all your last finishing touches, your look is complete. And I just think this look is perfect for any daytime event, whether you guys have a graduation or a bridal shower, anything like that, this look would work. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.